What's going on everyone? Today we're doing something a little bit different. Welcome to a new episode of Desktop Cooking. Today where we use, well, whatever we can to cook on our computer desk. So that's what we're doing today. Today we are going to be using the T8120 IR oven. Here's a quick shot of it. And now let's get started. So what we're doing today is we are going to make, I guess, an egg sandwich. So let's go ahead and it's going to get a little noisy in here. So I'm sorry for that. But unfortunately, that's just the way it goes. So I'm just going to probably do a little bit of uh, whatever happens, happens here. So nah, you'll see what happens anyways. If you can hear me over it, I'll keep the audio in. If you can't, then I'm sorry. But today, we're on the desktop here, and as you can see, everything here is just ready for cooking. So we've got this guy here. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our frying pan. Uh, usually I have a smaller cast iron frying pan that I would have loved to have used for this. I'm hoping this actually works because it's my first time trying it, but I've cooked other things uh, with my heat gun and various other things. So today we're going to try the T8120 as our cooking element. Now I would probably suggest just getting one of those single burner, you know, cheap $20, 500 watt units off of Amazon. Uh, I'm, I say 500 watt because anything more, uh, if you have a setup where you do have monitors all around you here, you probably consume a lot of power and chances are you're gonna pop that breaker if you're working from home. And this is my home office. I work full time on the desk here. This is my real time job area where I do my work work and not just my filming work. So with that being said, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna grab my frying pan here. I'm gonna put it on there. Now, couple things to remember here you can do this a couple of ways I'm, I'm just gonna go with what I do uh, and you can have it either uh, prepared ahead of time in the fridge and just bring it down quickly while you're working or you can uh, put it in a little thermos and bring it down with you but all I have here is let me show you here is I have a plate with one piece of bread cut in half and there's a reason for that, just so you know. And then a cup of mushrooms. So I want to toast with my my sandwich here. Now the only way to really get that uh, uh, toast would be to do it first. And now it's also acting as uh, greasing up the pan as well for when I put the mushrooms and the egg on it. So I'm not going to get a sticky mess. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get this guy turned on, and we're going to start cooking. So we're kind of getting there. We're at uh, about 136 on the oven here. Uh, as far as the temperature on the pan itself, I'm not 100% sure, but it is getting warm to the touch here. So I'm just going to, well, it, it's hot, it's hot. So we're good there. This should do uh, more than enough for uh, cooking our stuff today. Uh, I still haven't gotten it up to the temperature that I want, but uh, with the way it's acting, we should be there soon, and then we can get uh, cooking here. So, but actually, I'm gonna get my toast done first, so that way when it actually does get up to temperature, I am able to uh, get things cooking quickly here. So it's been about, uh, I don't know, three minutes, not even. So I have my butter on the one side and that's it. Okay, so I'm almost up to temperature here. Yeah, we're starting to cook here. That butter's melting nicely. And another thing you should have, probably a spatula at some point. So you re really don't need much for cooking. A frying pan and spatula and uh, a plate to put your cooked food on. 
I know, it's a lot of fun watching bread cook. Time to get the mushrooms on there. I'm gonna put them on there with the bread there and just so more surface is actually covered there. It's not cooking as well as I'd like it to, but hey, whatever, live and learn and try something new. Put my toast to the side here. And uh, then we'll get our mushrooms cooking here. I think what I'll do is I will crack my egg, get that on there just because then it'll give Give a little bit of steam. And all I'm doing is I'm using my eggshell and putting it into this container for now. And then I can actually dispose of it later out in the garden. There we go. Now we're just gonna let that cook for a few minutes here and uh, then we'll move it around a bit more. Hopefully those mushrooms will start to shrink up a little bit here, but uh, you know what, if you're working while this is cooking, there's no reason why you can't make it because, well, you know what, it's taking its time. Do it a little bit ahead of time and you know what, have yourself something healthy to eat. So when it comes to this, I think there's a couple things I've learned just from playing with this right now is even at a few hundred degrees, my machine's really hot, but I need something more direct on the pan. Uh, this will cook, so I think what we'll do is we'll do a time lapse of it cooking for the next few minutes. So here we go. So we're finally done. We can finally plate up our breakfast sandwich. I guess that's what I'm gonna call it because I'm gonna slap it between the bread and I'm gonna eat it. And there you have it. Quick and easy, well not quick, but an easy way to make sure that you're actually having something good to eat. Today we made the mushroom egg sandwich. I'm saying sandwich because it's toasted but it's kinda not at this point. Uh, but it's toasted enough. Uh, add some cheese, do what you want with it. Yes, it looks a little kind of gross looking, but you know what? That's what you get when you get actual natural ingredients and you get rid of all the garbage. Uh, if you want to pretty it up, slap some fake cheese on top of that, let it melt under there, and have yourself a breakfast sandwich. So, thanks for watching Desktop Cooking. We'll see you next week with something new. We'll start with just simple recipes and then maybe we'll get a little more, more intricate, maybe try some different ways of cooking and we'll see how it goes. So stay tuned.